garden here. Take a look at it. I'm in North Carolina and uh, just been wandering around. And I came across a, uh, a bunch of rose bushes and it was a very like poorly tended group of rose bushes. And what happens is that normally um, people who grow roses, when the rose dies, you cut off the head. I think that's supposed to promote it to grow again. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know that much about flowers. Uh, but I do know about fruit, and I know that if you don't cut off the heads of roses, the hip of the rose is left behind, and that is actually a fruit. You see those little leafy bits at the top? Now the petals of the flower would actually come out of that, and when the flower dies, the petals fall off, and this little guy is left behind. You see it looks kind of like a little cherry. And inside here, those are the seeds. So this little outer bit, it's a fruit. There are a lot of variation between rose hips. I, I believe all rose hips are edible. Um, so if you have a bunch of roses in your garden, if you eat them and you die, uh, don't blame me. I don't really know what I'm talking about. But I think they're all edible. So I'm going to try a couple. This one uh, that I showed you, that is a Ragosa rose. This, I think, is a kind of like a common variety to be eaten. And normally what people do is they will make uh, like jams or tea out of this. Uh, normally it's not eaten straight. And this one is uh, Rosa Moyesi. I'll put the word there in the screen because I don't know how to pronounce it, but this one actually had a bunch of little thorns going out of it. I'm imagining this is not one that is normally eaten um, as a fruit. And uh, I'll show you the inside of these too. It is just like full of seeds and little hairs. Uh, so I imagine that this one probably isn't going to taste very good. Well, if you look on the inside of this one, it's a little more fleshy looking. There's a little less seeds and not as much uh, hair on the inside. So I think this one is actually going to taste pretty good. And as I said, these are normally eaten. These I don't believe are. So let's see what these taste like. So, I mean, there's not like a whole lot of edible fruit here. It's just like the little outer shell here. Let me take a little nibble. Um, not bad. I mean, it's not exactly something I can imagine people eating, unless you're going to make something out of it. And um, if you look in there, around the seeds, there is quite a lot of hair. Little furry seeds. <laughs> Let me spit those guys out. But, not awful. The flavor is kind of like, um, cross between like apples and more like a crab apple like a crab apple and maybe like a little bit like a cherry maybe a little bit like um, like peach but a very like bland mealy peach or maybe a little bit like um, like the kind of like bland berry kind of fruits I've had like the uh, strawberry tree fruit Maybe a little bit like that, or maybe like um, Kusa Dogwood, a little bit like that. But uh, most relatable flavor, I'd say, is like a bland apple, or a, a bland apple, or a crab apple. And just for fun, let me try this one, which is probably going to kill me. It's got these, you can even see those little dots on it. Those are from little thorns that came out. Yeah, this has got a lot of seeds in it. It's very dry. It's got a lot of little, little hairs. A little bit like eating like asbestos. A little bit. Not much of a flavor. I guess a little bit like apple, but a very bland, hairy, little metallic tasting like kind of tastes like eating rust like an apple with some like rust shavings on top and some hair like coarse hair yeah so um yeah I, I wouldn't use this one I mean if you have some roses growing in the backyard uh, look up what variety it is because uh, some of them taste 
pretty decent. I can see using the Rosa Rubra as a jam or a juice or something, or make a tea out of it. Yeah, why not? If you got it in your, back, in your backyard, why not uh, make some use out of it? If you have any other kind of variety, eh, I would do a little bit of research first, because uh, that Rosa Moyesi one kind of tastes bad. Just to give uh, an idea f for anyone out there who has never had a rose hit before and wants to know a little bit more about what they taste like commercially, I picked this up. This is, um, uh, I don't know how to say that, uh, rose hip jam. That's what I have here, and there's little rose hips. Because like the ones that I picked up in the wild were, you know, obviously not a cultivated one, although those are ones that, um, people do eat. These are ones that were grown to be sold. So, just so want to see what uh, what this tastes like. Mmm, that's a lot of flavor. It's weird just eating a spoonful of jam, okay? I don't do this every day. Normally I would put this on some some toast or an oatmeal or something. But Ooh. It tastes very similar to apple butter. It tastes very similar to apples, but it's slightly different. And the main thing that like kind of like sticks out to me with this that also stuck out to me when I had the um, the fresh fruit is it's got like a little bit of like an almost like metallic taste to it. It's very subtle. Like if you were to like lick like a spoon, okay? I know I'm, I'm eating it off a spoon, but it's it's in the jam, too. It tastes like a little bit like that, like a little stronger metal. Not in like a really noticeable way, but I do feel it there, especially like in the aftertaste. It just kind of gets like the sides of your tongue. So yeah, like the fresh fruit isn't something I would really go out of my way to have again, but if you have like some rose bushes in your backyard or something, it's worth it's worth the trouble to you know to find something fun to do with it. Try making some of this jam, but more than anything, um, I'd suggest you know buying rose hip products. You know it's something that I've seen, and I've just never bothered picking up. And I think that's the case with a lot of people. So if you've never had it, uh, try some of the jam or some of the tea or something like that. It's uh it's like I said like similar to like apples or apple butter, but it has its own like little unique flavor to it as well. So, um, yeah, not much more to say, but um, check it out. Hey guys, don't click out on the window just yet, okay? Listen to me for one second. I just want to take a quick moment and tell you about my Patreon page that I just started. This is a way for fans of my series to help contribute and make my show even greater and to expand on content, get new videos, and give you some cool bonuses and rewards. So if you have a moment, just click on this video right here, click on me, and it'll, be, it'll take you to my Patreon page where you can learn more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Oh. I, I made this video too long. Um, yeah, you can, if you don't want to go to the Patreon page, it's okay. Um, you can also click on one of these fruit videos there's, there's one over here, you can go to the, the next episode, and you can go down over here to go to the last week's episode, and yeah. Oh yeah, sub subscribe. Subscribing is, is helpful, and um, like it, like it's good, L liking it is good. Um, and leave a comment, if you want to leave a comment, you know, tell me what you think, if you liked it, you hated it. Yeah, um, okay, that's it, bye-bye.